So good evening everyone and welcome and it's wonderful to see so many of you joining us today and so many of us are able to join in and it's thanks to Cathy and Nicole um, for hosting this meeting and a special thanks to Cathy as she said she had the idea and then she got the job so it's not good to have ideas around. So it, it's wonderful that we can all be here present together and to pray together as, as Institute and join with the whole Mercy World in today. So we'll, we'll now begin with our evening prayer. And just before we actually start the prayer, I'll read the little piece at the top, which links us back to our chapter. True to our charism of mercy, and following the inspiration of Catherine Macaulay, our vision is of a world reflective of God's love. Thank you. So I invite Josephine to lead us in our opening. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, rain down your love upon us, O God of mercy. May your spirit fill us with compassion and justice and your mother accompany us. United in faith and trust with our foundress, Catherine, we gather together for this time of prayer. Guide us to merciful ways and empower us to sing your praise. And so I invite Catherine to share the psalm, Psalm 139. Catherine, we can't hear you. 
Could you unmute, please? Thank you. That's great. Thank you, Catherine. So Psalm 139. Sweet mercy, soothing, patient, kind. Soft peace she brings wherever she arrives and removes our anguish. God of all time, I believe that my past, present and future are in your hands. God of all places, I believe that there is nowhere I may go where you are not there before me. God of all life, I believe that the vastest thoughts of cosmos and the most intimate thoughts of the human heart are both of concern to you. God of all experience, I believe that the heights and depths of human aspiration and anguish are known alike to you. Help me to find my voice and to sing my song in the time that you have given to me, in the places that I find myself, in the life that is mine to live. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sweet mercy, soothing, patient, kind, soft peace she brings wherever she arrives and removes her anguish. Thank you, Catherine and Victoria. The reading is from the letter to the Ephesians. This then is what I pray, kneeling before the Father, from whom every family, whether spiritual or natural, takes its name. Out of his infinite glory, may he give you the power through his spirit for your hidden self to grow strong so that Christ may live in your hearts through faith, and then, planted in love and built on love, you will, with all the saints, have the strength to grasp the breadth and the length, the height and the depth, until knowing the love of Christ, which is beyond all knowledge, you are filled with the utter fullness, fullness of God. Glory be to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory be to God, from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Picking up again on my theme of connections, um, since writing the Mercy Day letter, I have been alert to any references to connects and connections. At Sister Evelyn Gallagher's Requiem, the priest quoted the papal bull written by Pope Francis for the Year of Mercy, in which he says, Mercy is the bridge that connects God and man. Mercy is the bridge that collect, connects God and man. I do not wish to contradict Pope Francis, but I think I would want to say that mercy is the bridge that connects God and man, and also man, us, to the whole of creation. Perhaps Sister Loretta Cornell puts it better when she says, our connectedness with God 
calls us to be open to all that could be possible. Today, as we come together in this strange but significant way to celebrate the great feast of mercy, I pray for all of us that in these days of isolation and shielding, we may be aware and feel our connections with God, with each other, and the whole of creation. We know from the reading we have just listened to that God's power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. I'd like to finish using part of the prayer for the fifth anniversary of the publication of Laudate Si. It says, transform our fear and feelings of isolation into hope. Help us to show creative solidarity in addressing the consequences of this global pandemic. Make us courageous to embrace the changes that are needing in searching for the common good. Now more than ever, may we feel that we are all interconnected and interdependent. May the present sufferings be the birth pangs of a more fraternal and sustainable world. And today, we make this prayer under the loving gaze of Mary, Mother of Mercy, and our foundress, Venerable Catherine Macaulay. Amen. Amen. So we'll just have we'll just have a few quiet moments to reflect on Colette's words, a reading from scripture and our psalm. And I invite Sue to lead us in that beautiful canticle of Mary. Our centre is God, from whom all our actions should spring as one, as from one, as from their source. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He shatters my little world and lets me be poor before him. He takes from me all my plans and gives me more than I can hope for or ask. <clears throat> he gives me opportunities and the ability to become free and to burst through my boundaries. He gives the strength to be daring, to build on him alone for he shows himself as the ever greater one in my life. He has made known to me this. It is in my being servant that it becomes possible for God's kingdom to break through here and now. Glory be to the Father and to the Son 
and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our centre is God, from whom all our actions should spring as from their source. And for our intercessions, you will see the response is in bold. If you wish to, please do unmute yourself or you can stay muted. So I invite Monica and Margaret to lead us in our intercessions. We gather together today in thanksgiving on this feast of Our Lady of Mercy, aware that we are Christ's body on earth at this time, we bring our prayers before God. May the God of strength be with us, holding us in strong hands, and may we be the sacrament of strength to those whose hands we hold. Blessing of strength be with us. May the God of gentleness be with us. And may tenderness shine through us to warm all who are hurt, lonely, and grieving. May the blessing of gentleness be with us. May the God of compassion be with us as we stand with others throughout their suffering, being comfort and companionship. May the God of simplicity be with us, opening to us a vision of what is real and true. And may our dealings with others be marked by honesty and simplicity. May the blessing of simplicity be with us. May the God of patience be with us. And may we learn the wisdom that comes from waiting in faith. May the, May the blessing of patience be with us. May the God of peace be with us, calming our fears and urging us onward, that we may support others in this time of uncertainty and hesitation. May the blessing of peace be with us. May the God of joy be with us, filling our lives and satisfying our deepest longings, that we may be a source of joy in our communities, to our families, friends, and those whom we serve. May the blessing of joy be with us. Be with us. And if anyone has any prayers they want to bring, please do. Remember, if you're muted, you might want to unmute yourself. I'd like to remember all our sisters who perhaps are not able to join us this evening. We remember them and, and we ask that God will bless them this day and that they may too feel united in mercy with us and with all our sisters. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Amen. I'd like to pray for Chris and her family as they mourn the death of her father, who died recently. So eternal rest give unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual Amen. 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 May he rest Amen. in peace. Amen. Amen.
We pray for all those who are suffering from the COVID at this time. We ask you, Lord, to be with them and to comfort them and be with all those who take care of them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I'm very conscious also, I think, of many sisters who have gone before us. Um, I'm sure many of them would have loved this way of connecting with the, the whole of the Institute. But they have given us a, a great, great uh, legacy in mercy. And so we remember them and we, we ask that all of them be now enjoying their eternal rest and peace. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Even the Chancellor's statement today, we think especially of all those people who are worried that by tomorrow or next week, they won't have a job. And those employees who are struggling to put packages together to keep people in work. Recognising that there isn't an easy answer for any of these situations. We just continue to hold those people before God and trust that with justice and with care, they will find a way through and not end up in despair. Lord, in your mercy. And mercy associates, and also to pray for the sisters and people on our missions um, that the Lord may bless them today and that as they try to imbibe the mercy ethos, there may be um, a compassion, a way of um, channeling compassion and mercy to others that they meet. Lord, in your mercy. Could, could we pray for those often young men and women in our civil service? who form the, the teams behind our politicians. Um, I ask you to pray for my niece, um, Jill, um, who's in the COVID team, um, that they may have wisdom and the breadth of understanding of human need. Lord, in your mercy. Hear and so we bring before God all our prayers, those spoken and those that remain in our hearts with joy and thanksgiving for this day and for this opportunity to be together. And I ask that we do pray the Lord's Prayer together. It might sound funny to us, but prayer to God is prayer. And so we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, be and I invite Bernard to lead us in our concluding prayer. Fall in love by Pedro Arati, SG. Nothing is more practical than finding God than falling in love in a quite absolute kind of way. What you are in love with, what seizes your imagination, will affect everything. It will decide what you get, out of, get you out of bed in the morning, 
what you do with your evenings, how you spend your weekends, what you read, whom you know, what breaks your heart, and what amazes you with joy and gratitude. Fall in love, stay in love, and it will decide everything. And I invite Colette to lead the final blessing. May God bless and animate us with his own divine spirit. Amen. 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 May, may we prove it is Jesus Christ we love and serve with our whole hearts. Amen. 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 May God count us among his dearest and best beloved. Thank <clears throat> you.